This is it. It's time to stop Matthias. We can just sit inside. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> oh, does this area? Oh, it has another camp. That's where the last Lara journal will be. Yamatai, you're going down, or whatever her name was. No! No, please! Laura! Why are you doing this, Matthias? Do you think that you're the hero, Laura? Everything I've done, I did to survive. How many lives have you taken to do the same? There are no heroes here. Only survivors. Himiko's dangerous, Matthias. She's angry, she's vengeful, and she has real power. You! A mere mortal for a queen? A good trade for our freedom, I'd say. She's mad. Goddamn Himiko. She hot though. this way. does not want me oh Lara watch out those bastards are heading your way we did everything we could to slow them down holy Thanks, shit get to the boat if i'm not back we're not leaving without you we'll be waiting Where am I supposed to go? Oh, just right here.
to. Not doing her last journal. When's she gonna do it? Wait, how much salvage did I have? I still only had like. Wait, it didn't go up. I swear I picked a, a little bit up.
you, Matthias. Death scream.
She did not look cute. Sal. I'd still swipe right. Oh, Sam. Thank God. Oh. Laura. What's happening? I'm here. You're safe now. It's okay. It's okay. You saved me. I knew you would. I made you a promise. Let's get you home. And it was happily ever after. Assuming there's no more bad guys on the island. There's Laura. She's got Sam. She did it. Yeah, Reyes, now don't you feel bad for doubting? I think she's going to be okay. What happened up there? It's over. We can go now. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Do we have enough gas? I've been so blind, so naive. For years, I resented my father, doubted him like the rest. But he was right about so much. I just wish I could tell him that now. There are so many mysteries that I once dismissed as mere stories, but the line between our myths and truth is fragile and blurry. I need to find answers. I must understand. That's a weird conclusion to get from all of this. Whoa. Find all documents, relics, and GPS caches. Oh. Now it gave me that. Making me waffles before the ballet class. Need anything? Mm. Don't really know what happened to you on that island. Judging from those wounds and that look in your eyes, I guess I don't want to know. Anyway, we'll be home soon. I'm not going home. What'd that say? Croatia? Survivor is born. A lot of XP, but I'm already maxed. Hope you enjoyed playing Tomb Raider. We worked our hardest to bring you the best game we could possibly make. Thank you for taking the time to complete our game. So that's the end. I'm just going to skip the credits. What does it do after? Put us on the home screen? Yep. You've completed the story with an overall game completion of 100%. You may return to the island by selecting continue in order to complete any unfinished activities. I did everything. I did everything in the game. I did I did it all. I'm a pro. I did everything. No need to do more. Uh, just for the sake of our after game chat. Turn this down. Uh, so how I feel about the game? I thought it was tight. I thought it was tight. Uh, I know it's probably... I, I can see why it uh, made a lot of the early Tomb Raider fans upset. I, I, I think it's warranted because when you think about it, like... wasn't really a 
Tomb Raider game if you're going off of the earlier series style. Because those were puzzle platformers. This was not a puzzle platformer. The tombs that you had to solve something were like one step in like what would be a quarter of one stage in an old Tomb Raider game. But as a linear RPG experience goes, this was really good. So like, even though it's not like, uh, it's not like the old games, it's its own kind of game. And I think it did it well. But I could see how it may, you know, upset some, some of the earlier fans. But it probably appealed to a lot of newer fans too, I would imagine. Because, I mean, the story was good. The graphics were very... I, this was 2013. This is the same year Skyrim came out. And I would argue this looked a lot better than Skyrim. And usually I like to use Skyrim as like a benchmark. Like, does it look worse or better than Skyrim? And how close is the year to Skyrim's year? You know, I, that that's how I judge graphics. Because I felt like Skyrim was a very pinnacle. Like, okay, this is where graphics are at now. And like, if it looked worse than that later, bad game, bad graphics. If it looked better than that earlier, good graphics. So I'd say this same year, better graphics. This was, it looked nice. And uh, I liked all the voice acting. I thought it was all pretty good. Um, all the characters, some were a little, no, I don't think, honestly, not even many were tacky. I, I think it was all done pretty well. Combat was fun. I, I don't think I ever had like, this game is so stupid moment. I don't think I ever called it dumb for a combat reason. I might have done so for something else. Um, Honestly, I don't think anything pissed me off too much in this game. I didn't like the scare, you know, the, oh my God, this game was scary. But it, it, I think it had a couple things that could come close to jump scares for me at the beginning. The wolves, that was one. The wolves, I did not like. Those scared the shit out of me. But a as you got through the game, it stopped doing like jump scares and more just like gross, yucky, uncomfortable, which is fine. I'm fine with that as much as I, you know, might gripe about it. As long as I'm not getting jump scared, I'm pretty happy. But it, it was a lot more of horror type, like, gruesomeness than any past Tomb Raider games by far. Um, but I think it did that well. It, it, it made it a cool experience. I kind of liked this Laura that's not, like, super strong and OP and, you know, top of the world. I kind of like this idea of, like, you know, she's a real human being on a big adventure, and, uh, you know, pain exists. Like, so many other games, people are like, oh, yeah, they get hit by a million arrows, take a health potion, and they're A-OK. -okay. In this one, she's not A-OK. -okay. Some of the, see, the, the levels you have to go through, she, like, can't climb because she hurt herself somewhere or something like that. That's really cool. Um... I don't know because I you know I can't help but have seen like some of the people like oh new lore is so weak and fragile and scared it's like doesn't that make sense doesn't that make sense I mean at this point in the game there the idea is she wasn't even really an explorer yet you know th this is her just starting her like debut and that's why, like, at the end, they're like, oh, and now she want That was a little of a tacky ending. But, like, they, they wanted to get some way of, like, and now she's going to go on to more adventures. Because the experience at this island was a positive <laughs> experience for her. It, it didn't segue very well. It was like, we just got fucked up. Tons of people died. But I like exploring now. This was fun. <laughs> <laughs> like, it doesn't... No, no. <laughs> it, it didn't... It didn't bridge over quite right for me, at least. But... No, I... 
I, I had personally I might be an idiot I might be a bad gamer but I enjoyed this Tomb Raider a lot more than I enjoyed the old Tomb Raiders I think I would enjoy more puzzle solving in it even if that kind of if even if I'm not that good at that kind of stuff but for me the graphics are a big thing too and I think that's why I enjoyed Underworld more than like Tomb Raider 1 and 2 um it just I like I like it to look nice I'm a I like visuals it's just I can't help it it's like oh old games they might not have the graphics but they have everything else it's like I, w I want the graphics I'm sorry I want them <laughs> well, what can you do <laughs> my buttons for the most part all worked in this game I hate games where my buttons don't do what they're supposed to do. They did what they're supposed to do in this game. That's cool. The collectibles and the crafting, I felt it wasn't too intrusive. I could have not gotten any of them, and I think it would have been doable. They give you tons of ammo. Like, it was not an issue. Um, yeah, I felt like all the systems they put into this game were we're good I don't know what getting the GPS caches did for me I I really don't know I guess it was just to get 100% uh, the real stuff was the documents I think the documents are what really mattered maybe the relics but documents give like that extra story boost and I like that um, but yeah so that is it for Tomb Raider, what is this? Just Tomb Raider? I think it's just Tomb Raider. Uh, and we'll move on to the next one because obviously at this point they're, uh, I, I think it's just a trilogy. They're all out. I, I thought they would make more, but maybe they didn't do well. I, I heard a lot about them, so I, I thought they were successful. So I'm surprised we haven't gotten any more than the three new ones. Um, but we'll move on to the next one and see where her adventures take us next. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.